Well, hey, Leo, how about a reading from your metal dog? I started this reading and then I took a phone call. <laughs> so starting again, I only had pulled one card. I didn't think it would be the end of the world. It was a six of cups. And I'm gonna pull cards for your overall message from the 10 of cups that just popped out. I'm not ready to take it. Looks like you're in the feels, Leo. You're in the optimism and hope and community and undefended love place so far. But let's see. Let's get serious and see what's happening for Leo coming in to 2023. All right. Hmm, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Okay. I'm sure you'll wake me up, right? Okay. A seven of cups. Lots of choices. Lots of heart, emotional, yeah, still in the cups. Um, illusions, fantasies, projections. Kind of a little bit disoriented, trying to figure out what you want here. And underlying that, the sun. Mm, card of absolute happiness. Authenticity. Hmm. This, um, the big greeting I did for the collective, everybody, um, was about the sun and kind of revising what the sun means to us. And you can see there's a kind of like dilemma that you have. Um, you know, what is it that makes you happy? Who are you? Like I even see like this dog like among the cups, there's a, I could be this kind of dog. Whether it's a bone or a squirrel or a victory or a home or what's this? The fire, the heart, the heart. Um, but yeah, there's something going on with who we are, who are we are, who we believe we are, who our true self is and, and recognizing ourselves amidst all the projections and it's the identity politics, um, something like that. Let's look deeper. Okay, we're gonna use Cindy of Awakening to Spirits, Release and Embrace reading, and we'll add a few cards as well. She is the author of that. Never watched her channel, do it. I find her quite wise, even though she initially I thought she was silly. Then I realized there's great wisdom beneath the silliness. And I resonate with that. Okay. All right. We're cutting the deck. We're using the news tarot for everybody today. And this is your reading, Leo. So what you must can release as you move out of 2022, the slow poke night the night of materials this is a beautiful responsible practical slow energy the plan the a student being good that's a really beautiful card i think that's just one of my favorite cards of all i love that flower i love the the in this deck pentacles or materials are represented by these pink roses and that's some kind of a succulent there so if you know about succulents are they slow growers because the night of materials is a slow poke so it could su it suggests speeding up here in fact it almost seems like this night is taking off a little bit here what are you to embrace the ten of inspiration Woo! You're almost there, baby. You're almost ready for a break. It's almost time for you to put down that burden. You and all your 10 helpers here. So this is a 10 of wands, the quit your job card. So you've been hyper responsible. You've been carrying a burden. It's time to put it down. Does that sound like you, Leo? Time to take a break. It's vacation time, something like that. Okay, we've got a bunch in retrograde. What are we revisiting? 
the Hierophant. It's a Taurus energy card of Taurus. It's also about structural power, spiritual power. It's kind of looking at ideas of church and state. It could also be um, some kind of a teacher or mentor. But anyway, there's something that you're reviewing and reconsidering. As we see Mercury go into retrograde, Mars has been in retrograde. Uranus, planet of revolution. Mars, planet of war, passion, desire, sex. Um, has been retrograding in Gemini. And then we have Mercury retrograding in earthy Capricorn. What is hidden from you that the tarot wants you to know? Change of fortune. Things are turning in your favor, Leo. I think this is kind of a universal thing happening. Let's just say we've been going through some tough times, right? It's been tough. Um, you, Leo, have been very responsible. You've moved slowly. You've considered your actions. The wheel is about to turn, turning in your favor. If it hasn't been in your favor, it is turning that way. And you can't see that yet, but the tarot says, by the way, the wheel is going to turn in your favor, Leo. Okay, and the future. The future is Muse of Emotions, the King of Cups. It's a, this is an emotional cycle for you, Leo. There's some completion in, of some kind of work that you've done. Um, it looks like you've been a leader. Um, and you get to, you know, I think of my brother-in-law, like, time to retire, that kind of thing. And then you get to go, it's like a very vacation in the Caribbean setting, perhaps the Aegean Sea, just sitting back, enjoying your, your emotions. And the King of Cups is emotionally mature, quiet type, good listener, has a whole kingdom to um, care for um, that's why he doesn't talk about his feelings or these the muse here but i just see you by the sea in the future drinking just sort of feeling your feels i don't see anything other than some question about what makes you happy as an overarching question here in this reading. Ah, yes. And we see two cards on the bottom of this deck. One is we see you starting out on a new cycle, the Fool. It's a new major cycle in your life. It's a leap of faith, the beginner's mind. And then we see you envisioning. What is the blank slate of your life here? You have a vision. You need to, you need to mark this, draw your life in here. What do you imagine your life to be? And I can see like you're, you see this fool um, walking on the sand into this un, uh, un, as a yet unseen vision. It's kind of a portal that you walk through to this place um, when you envision it. It looks kind of oceanic. It's emotional. You know, if you do indeed retire, Leo, or you, you make a major shift in your life, um, because fortune has turned in your favor, you know, there's still loss. So some of the muse of emotions, the feelings, you know, and then this kind of overall seven of cups, like, who am I now? What is my, my what is my identity? What makes me happy now? Let me see the seven of cups and the sun and, over the top of this reading. All right, well, let's clarify, Leo. Pardon me. Ooh, you do seem tired, my dear. <laughs> if it's true that I'm encountering your energy as I do this reading, you seem sleepy. Time for a nap, at the very least. Let's see. Okay, Knight of Materials. You've been very responsible and taking it slow. What else? There's been some balancing, two, more earthy, two of pentacles, energy. 
Materials and pentacles are the same suit. Judgment and ascension. That means you've you've done it right. You've been very good as an item of materials. And, and this allows you to, um, to get free, to rise up, to dance. Your soul is ascending. Not to be confused with dying, although I can't help how you read it. The moon into your emotional depths. That's interesting. You're both going up. Oops. You're sending upward, and then you're you're sinking physically. It's like your body falls into this water. There's grief. I feel sorrow. Things that you've had going on that you haven't had a chance to feel, you're feeling now. Hmm. You've been so responsible. You've been juggling. And you get free of that because you're starting a new cycle here. You ascend to this next cycle. And then... There's all of this stuff the moon calls you to to look into your depths. And, and you can't do that when you're too busy and you're being hyper-responsible. Okay, so now you are embracing a 10 of inspiration. It's like you're almost there. It's, all, it's time to quit your job. Um, what else? Get to put that burden down. You can just see the horizon, the peak of the mountain you've been climbing up. You're very tired. You were tired in the nine of inspiration. What else? Page of swords, open-mindedness, curiosity, new ideas. Hmm. Ah, freedom, page of wands, getting outside of the norms, and expectations, just, there's a dancing here. We can see you dancing, reading. We can just see you freed here, coming forward. That's beautiful. And Ten of Swords, another ten. There is a new day dawning, um, and you're walking away from something that it's not easy to walk away from. There's sorrow. And it's in your mind. The swords is your mind. It's usually a much more painful image. This one, excuse me, emphasizes that the sun, that you come out of darkness. Um, and there's all of this golden light here that you are walking in, in this new beginning. And it's beautiful. And it makes me think of how this is about discovering what makes you happy, Leo. Figuring that out. That this is what 2023 is about for you. Okay, you're revisiting structural power because I always see the page of wands um, is traditionally interpreted as the foreigner, the person from the outside who's unencumbered by the norms because they're not from here. This is the opposite energy. This is the norms. These are the structures. This is what tradition and everything like that. So Leo, you are reflecting back on that. And it has to do with power in this image. It's very much about one who is looked to and to me, it's, uh, it's telling me about that you've been in a position of responsibility and leadership. There has been a burden. It's time. It's almost like you're moving on from that and you get to be in this freer, younger page energy um, as you walk forward from whatever that ending is. So let's see. What's this hierophant? You're, you're reviewing your life. There's your fool, the fool again, leaping out. Try to not to jump into that portal. Ah, Ace of Cups. Your heart's desire being offered to you. It is the portal. That is, yeah, your heart is what you are leaping into it's just it's the same 
thing here of like, who am I? What is my, what makes me happy? What is the sun? What is my authentic self? That's, that's exactly what this is. You're reviewing that. You're actually thinking about the previous journey and where it began. It began leaping out into your, your dream, your heart. It came from your heart, what you did. You finished with that. And you're reflecting upon that. That's a big review. And then there is conflict between your heart and your mind. There is a kind of broken heart here when you think about that ending. It's uh this is about grieving your who you were, Leo, in some way. And getting free and starting something new, but you still it's a natural to have deep, painful feelings and to feel some anguish as you reflect on what you're giving up. Because you haven't quit yet. You haven't yet quit, but you're, you're getting ready to quit. That's what I see. You're getting ready to give up the whatever hyper-responsibility, and you're just kind of trying to see who you are going forward. Here comes Zozo. She will usually not get on the table during tarot readings. She's like, is this the Leo reading? Why are you using dogs? <laughs> okay. But the tarot wants you to know the wheel. Things are turning in your favor. Okay. King of Cups. This is your future. It's the same card as your future. King of Cups. And the Muse of Emotions in this other deck, but same card. There's some anxiety and insomnia. It's like I see you as the King of Cups here. Leos are kings, right? But this is about your feelings, Leo. And you're just kind of reaching down and touching the cup that represents your heart. It's this cup, right? And you're thinking about when it began, the very beginning. This is the beginning of that emotional narrative and here you are now silver haired bearded and you know you're you're by the ocean right remember we see you by the ocean here um same card king of cups is the muse of emotions so you're just touching into your heart and there is um there's some turmoil in your mind which we saw, we see this here. It's almost like a repetition of this conflict of heart and mind. And then what? There comes the momentum, the chariot. This kind of riding out of there. It's like a, that when the wheel turns, it pushes you out of insomnia and anxiety and this more reflective space that you're in. Um, I think you're in now as you, um, you've been very responsible. You're in your emotions, right? The moon told us that you're, you're feeling into your emotional depths. Um, there's a lot going on in your mind and in your heart. And then something changes and then boom, you ride out of there like the chariot. This is all of your physical fire, your momentum, your alpha energy. That's a cool card, right? The horse, the black horse, the white horse, and you riding on the top of the chariot. You're riding away from the sunrise. That's this, the sun rising behind you. The whole day is gonna light up before you. Okay, the future. Is the king of cups is the muse of emotion what is this All right we see you here by the water retirement there's your queen of cups so she's your partner your compatriot the feminine to the king of cups um or it could be you she's much more open about her feelings but the so that we have like a complete couple here so it's like you and your person in the future um strength this is one of your cards leo you living in your heart right you know you're safe 
lion though you are with a lamb because you of your goodness, your gentleness, your heart. It's one of the most powerful cards in the tarot. It's a very beautiful future. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't, I mean, this is you with your family and love and community. It's a beautiful fu future for you, Leo. After this process where you really quit a job, you know, a job, right? It could be some other kind of responsibility. It's been a burden. It's been, but it's defined you. And now you're seeking who you are and what makes you happy again. But the future looks really happy, whatever that is. Something happens to change your fate. The wheel turns and you come out with this momentum on this new journey, like this fool, you see where you're going, right? Because here we see you don't really know what to fill in the blank world with after this prior career or responsibility. And now that you're free, something happens, you see it, and we see you in it in the future, and it's beautiful. It's rainbows and water and crystal blue seas, family, community, emotionally fulfilled in the future. That's how we see you. And therefore, your best self, the strength card. Absolutely beautiful. You get one card on the bottom. And this is, I think that's how you're feeling today. You're a little bit up in your head, trying to figure out what's best for you. And you know that you have a bad practice of self-harm. This is a five of swords. It's the way that we hurt ourselves. We get up in our heads. Sometimes we win in a way that we don't feel proud of and therefore harm others and then ourselves in the process. So this is definitely not an easy place that you're in, Leo, as we move into 2023. But the future is gorgeous for you. Very beautiful. And on the bottom, not death. So you're not dying and going to heaven. This is before that. Beautiful. Okay. Let me know, Leo. I hope this helps. Happy New Year.